And thank you for staying with us. The Bronx Brewery and Empanology have signed a five-year agreement, and that is going to bring a unique culinary experience to the South Bronx. It marks the Bronx is born Food Lab's first official food partner in the brewery's nine year history. Operating out of a brand new kitchen in the Bronx Brewery's backyard in the South Bronx, Empanology will now fire up its signature innovative takes on uptown classics seven days a week with outdoor dining and currently available and delivery on the horizon. Join us to tell us a little bit more about this wonderful initiative. We have the founder of Empanology, Jason Alessia, and also general manager at Bronx Brewery, Brandon Espinosa. And gentlemen, good to have you. How you doing, Dan? Hey, thanks for having us. Hey, man, great to have you guys. Great to see you. And this comes at a great time. I mean, really, we're just trying to make it navigate out of COVID, just trying to deal with, you know, getting back to some sense of normalcy. But to have this partnership, I know it does good for both the South Bronx and also the Bronx and New York City as a whole. Um, so give us a little bit about Empanology right off the rip. Um, so for, for those that uh, don't know, we are a uh, Bronx born and based uh, Empanada company. We uh, currently have over 55 different flavors that rotate on our menu. Uh, at this point, we're about to launch our fall menu. Uh, we got a, a new vegan empanada. We just launched a coconut curry. Um, and we're going to be launching a, a lot of uh, innovative seasonal empanadas and, and uh, pairing them with the up-and-comer series of beers that the brewery offers. Uh, but pretty much uh, Puerto Rican comfort food, we're operating out of a brand new food truck uh, in the back of the Bronx Brewery. Um, brand new team I'm super excited to be working with. Um, and just look forward to, you know, the consistent, innovative, creative empanadas and uh, some good comfort food on uh, the menu as well. Yeah. Brandon, introduce people to the Bronx Brewery. Sure, absolutely. Uh, so thanks again for having me here. I'm really excited to share a little bit more about the brewery as well as the partnership with Empanology. Um, but we got started in the South Bronx in 2011. Um, so as you said earlier, celebrating nine years this year and really getting excited. Uh, for next year, uh, where it will be our celebration of a decade in business, uh, which is no small feat for a craft brewery. Um, our tap room has been open since 2014. Um, and as many know, the primary focus of our business is production, um, which is what you see, you know, around New York City and in some other markets, uh, both domestically and internationally. Um, but one of the unique uh, things that I think make us stand out in the industry uh, is the fact that we have an incredible backyard space. Uh, and a lot of the work that I've done has been around culture, community, and events. Mm -hmm. And so um, uh, right now, as you know, we're going through unprecedented times um, in our industry, uh, particularly hospitality, uh, has been crippled. Um, and I think you're going to see a lot of that. Um, as the year progresses, um, but really excited that indoor dining is coming on hand. Um, but with that being said, we've been able as a brewery to pivot and kind of find the silver linings during this time uh, by launching BXB Go, which is our online B2C um, e-commerce platform, uh, which Jason and Empanology and their team will be a part of uh, via the pickup and delivery options that we'll launch with them. Um, but we've also been able to transform our backyard into a space uh, that follows all of the CDC guidelines um, and requires face coverings and everything to ensure a safe but pleasant and hospitable experience uh, for those that are looking for something to do uh, during this time. And, you know, as I said in the past, um, great beer, amazing food, better vibes. That's who we are. Um, and all of that is anchored around our values of uh, inclusivity, community, and creativity. So whether it's a beer we're making, whether it's a community initiative uh, that we're partaking in, um, or you know, a collaboration or a partnership that we're looking to sign, those are the three things that kind of drive us as a company. Yeah, and, and tell me a little bit more because I want to uh, get this uh, out here, Jason. You know, when we talk about this, you know, somebody said, well, this is, it's a whole lot more than just food. I mean, it's, 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 it's a whole lot more. Yeah, absolutely. So. Uh, we, um, we had a pop-up location, brick and mortar in my Haven for about 15 months prior to uh, coming over to the Bronx Brewery. Um, and we were blessed with a beautiful space there and we, we kind of utilized it to do community outreach, um, 
events focused for the community, uh, community give backs. Uh, my father's a pastor of a church, Elements Church in the Bronx. We, we had pop-up service there every Sunday. Um, and just being born and raised in the Bronx, my heart has always been for the people, more specifically the kids. Um, and I just try to use that platform and that space to, uh, you know, to give back as much as I can in various ways, whether it's a sponsorship of an empanada or an event for the kids or, you know, utilizing the space or just networking people together, other Bronx creatives. Uh, a lot of people have met at, at Empanology and continue to thrive off each other and their businesses. Um, and I'm, I'm proud to say that, you know, we had that space to create that uh, um, space for everyone. And I, I know now moving forward that we have the power of uh, uh, joining forces with the Bronx Brewery, whose heart has always been for the community to have several legs doing several works already with the community couple with our efforts and our minds. Um, I, I think we got a, a lot of big things coming. I know uh, we have a Thanksgiving initiative uh, that's coming up um, and just, you know, putting both of our heads together and down on the, on the ground to, to make sure that we're not only just uh, two businesses selling a product, but two businesses putting the people first. So for those people who are just joining us, tell me about a Bronx-born food lab. And so there's a partnership between the Bronx Brewery and Empanology uh, in creating this Bronx-born food lab. Uh, walk us through what are the goals and what can people expect once this food lab uh, takes off? So right now we're, for the first time ever, open seven days a week, which we never been. So now we're full service. Um, so our extended hours, we extended our menu. We're not only just serving uh, empanadas, we have a, a list of like eight different cool sandwiches and burgers, some fries, uh, like a, a stir fry Chino Latino lab fried rice, we call it. Um, we are on the pickup platform for the BXB Go. We are going to be launching on the delivery platforms in the next week or two. And also a big, big announcement that I'll, I'll get you guys to share for the first time. We, we're going to be launching our frozen empanadas for the first time uh, in about two years. It's kind of how we started the company uh, over our Instagram post. Uh, people buying them by the dozen frozen and able to bring that uh, empanology experience home. And now you'll be able to bring that empanology and Bronx brewery experience at home, not only through the BXP Go, but also through the frozen empanadas and, and uh, cases of beers to take home. Um, and just overall, like I, I think it's one of those uh, situations there where you gotta kind of come and see for yourself. Uh, once you step foot in that backyard and, and now the Saturday, the indoor dining, that super excited to announce everything we got planned for that. You're gonna feel the energy, you're gonna feel the vibe, you're gonna see the, the joy on people's faces, whether it's because of the chopped cheese and panada or because of the no resolutions beer that they're drinking or a combination of the both. Everyone's kind of enjoying themselves. Uh, and most importantly, like we said, uh, safely is first for us back there. We have security in place. Um, we have a lot of sanitizing stations. Everything's uh, covered in terms of uh, uh, people feeling comfortable and safe. And something that I noticed uh, is, is different from other, other restaurants is we've always had that backyard space. We've always had a front yard space at our old location. Um, so it's, 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 it doesn't feel so new normal back there. It feels like it did before. Uh, we always sat at these picnic tables and kind of communally, like, you know, enjoy the time together. We're listening to good music, we're drinking good beer, we're eating great food. Um, and that didn't change. It's a little less people now because of the guidelines, but it still feels normal. It still feels fun. Um, people aren't enjoying themselves. And uh, I think, you know, the, the numbers speak for themselves. There, there's a line out the door every weekend. Um, and we're trying our best to accommodate people as often as we can. And we're only going to get bigger and better, uh, especially working together now with the Bronx Brewery. Yeah, Jason, um, you know, thank you for always coming and dropping an exclusive here on Open, especially on my show. I appreciate that. Um, but, Brandon, I want to talk to you about this because when we talk about what's going on right now, of, co of course, a lot of people have concerns. COVID-19, indoor dining restrictions given both by uh, New York City Mayor de Blasio, uh, Mayor de Blasio, as well as by the governor. Talk to us about how you guys are handling that and dealing with that in the midst of this partnership. Absolutely. So, you know, for both of our businesses, the, the goal is to stay open, right, and bring our community uh, what it deserves. And so for us, it, it's always been remaining nimble and flexible and kind of thinking on your feet uh, of what makes sense and where investments can be made um, in order to continue to, you know, have a partnership that's mutually beneficial. 
Um, so as we think of indoor dining, uh, which begins this Wednesday, uh, September 30th, uh, we had to think about our space and we operate in a very unique space. Um, as I mentioned before, our primary focus is production. Um, and that's how we distribute uh, across New York State uh, as well as uh, internationally. And so when thinking of that um, and thinking of our backyard, which is our greatest asset, which is where we're able to accommodate the majority of the people, we decided to break our space up and attack indoor dining in a phase approach. Um, so what you'll see is uh, on weekends, beginning this weekend, October 3rd, um, we will begin indoor dining, um, but they'll operate as two separate entities. So if you want to dine indoors, you'll have the entrance on 136th Street through our tap room. If you want to dine outdoors, um, you will have our entrance via our backyard on 135th Street between Willow and Walnut. What that allows is for indoor dining, for us to meet all the restrictions, uh, as well as guidelines of you know, thermometer checks, uh, contact tracing, contact forms, table side service, since bar service is uh, restricted during indoor dining but it still allows us to operate the backyard um, with a different set of guidelines that are set back there. Obviously there's overlap with six feet social distancing and face coverings. So that's what you're gonna see um, for you know, the next month or so. We'll be operating the backyard only Monday through Friday um, as outdoor dining. And then the weekends will transition to an indoor dining, outdoor dining hybrid. And then come November 7th, we'll transition into a phase two approach where our entire venue will be indoor dining seven days a week. Um, and what that will mean is that Monday through Friday, the backyard will be indoor dining. And you might say, wait, that's outside. Um, the investment that we're making there uh, is throwing a tent back there that's enclosed with a heater. Obviously seating is gonna be reduced, um, but we think this is the best approach forward one, given the changing of the season and the weather, um, but two, uh, given the restrictions and guidelines um, and the ability to maximize um, our space so that you know, we could continue to, to benefit both businesses um, and create enough space and, and maximize the space for our community that we serve. Uh, well, thank you guys so much. I think it's great that you guys are coming together and basically tackling all these initiatives that I think a lot of people have concerns about, but you're meeting them head on. And also to have that Bronx-born food lab, the first right here in the borough of the Bronx. Brandon, Jason, thank you so much for being with us here on Open. Best wishes, and we're going to continue to follow this. Thank you, Darren. Thank you, Darren. And you know, of Hope course, you're going to see you at the brewery soon. <laughs> now, that's what I was going to say. Of course, you know you're going to see me, too. Right. So there it is, too. All right. Listen, uh, thank you, guys. Listen, I want to go make sure that the people get more information. Now, if you want more information about exactly what they are doing and how to stay connected, go and check out their website, empanology.com. Uh, and then also, if you want more, bronxbrewery.com. There you can get connected uh, and find out more.